I'm red. What up? Let's get to it. So Lizzo says guys who use her name in a derogatory way are lonely and ugly, huh? See, I don't follow too much on Lizzo. I've heard a few of her songs, and I like them, you know. She actually, she actually makes some good music. I don't listen to her like that or follow her like that or pay attention like that, but she makes a good music. And she's very confident in who she is. She's not scared to show it. You know what I mean? She's herself. She's free. At least that's what it seems, appears to be, right? And she's doing a good thing teaching her female audience of fans, self-confidence, self-awareness, loving yourself fully, caring what no one thinks about you. That's all good things to push. That's all good. But I think when people get derogatory, you know, with her name, I'm not saying all of them because there's definitely haters out there, you know, definitely haters out there. Definitely weirdos, you know, bullies, etc. That just have a problem with a person and, you know, want to bring them down at all costs. Even fans. You know, fans get off on seeing celebrities that they may be a fan of or may have been an ex-fan of, etc. You know, some fans get off on seeing them hurt or go through something kind of weird, right? Like it satisfies them, right? The realm we're in, though, right? <laughs> Yeah, I think people are talking about the explicit imagery that you show at times. You know, you definitely should be confident. Keep teaching that. Keep pushing that. Women, men, etc. You should be confident in yourself. You know, it's a lot of people with low self-esteem. Heavy. I used to have low self-esteem. Heavy, right? So I know from experience. Dig me. Must be confident, have self-confidence. Some people may call it cocky, arrogant. Nah, kill that noise. They just can't handle your energy heavy. You're supposed to believe in yourself to the fullest. If you don't believe in you, who else going to believe in you? And like I say, these things are battles every day, right? Mental battles, right? Self-talk every day, heavy, right? It's not a joke, not a game. See, a lot of the internet is jokes and games. and But it's real deal in life, man. But I think sometimes Lizzo may get carried away with how much she shows, with how she exposes herself sometimes, you know. It's definitely doing a lot at times, things that I've seen. It's definitely sending a questionable message to little girls watching her, looking up to her. Not even little girls, teenagers, young women, grown women, etc. I'm sure she has a variety of fans. Yeah, the L.A. thing that was pretty extra. Was that really necessary? What was that for? What was the purpose of it? See, now you have to question all those things. <laughs> it's like a game for real in this realm. Is a person doing it for money, clout, views? Are they getting told to do this by their team, managers, etc., label? Are they getting paid a certain amount to do this, to commit these acts, questionable acts, right? Some very derogatory acts, right? And it's not only that she's doing the most because of her size and this and that, no. Even women who are so-called in shape or petite or you know with nice bodies right etc you know what i'm saying what the world approves of right they do the most as well they show off too much as well now if lizzo was their size she looked like them would people care because we see them do it all day every day on social media and videos music videos you know out on the regular so we talking about double standards between women now what is it when a heavy set girl does it it's a problem, but when a slim, whatever you want to call it, chick do it, it's, it's all good. Why? Because that's what majority of the world likes, right? That's majority of the world's opinion. That's why so many people can't stand who they are, hate themselves, go get surgeries, things of that nature. Can't accept who they are, right? Because of double standards, because of stereotypes, because of people's opinions, because of what someone likes or may not like, man. Just like Lizzo was way out of pocket wearing what she wore to the Lakers game, heavy. A chick smaller than her would be out of pocket as well, period. So for the people making derogatory comments and name calling and calling this and that, think about why you're really angry, you know. Why are you really offended? But Lizzo and every other woman, right? Should think about the little girls looking up to them, generation looking up to them following their league, right? They're in the spotlight. They're in the rim. They're in entertainment. They're being heard. They have a voice, right? They have a fan base. She has a fan base. 
So people will follow, right, as we see on social media. But everybody should try to teach the youth the right thing, right? You can be confident, but you don't have to slut it out heavy. You can be confident, but you don't got to always be promiscuous. I know I'm not saying you always got to cover yourself up, but we know what's doing too much and not. Especially in this realm, why would you even want to show that much? Because all these weirdos out there like a mug, like a motherfucker. Especially in this realm, why would you even want to show that much? All the weirdos walking around, demons lurking, right? Sexual predators, right? Sex trafficking, man. Why would you even want to be showing off all that cleavage to attract things like that, right? To attract weirdos like that, right? Of course, women have the right to wear what they want to and, you know, dress how they want to dress, but it's cool not to show it all, you dig me? <laughs> if you got to show it all and wild out and lose all self-respect and stuff like that for people to rock with you and stay being your fan and all that, for people to watch you and view you, you got to do the most like that, all that, ain't even worth it, right? Shit would be torture, right? Especially if it's somewhere in your contract. <laughs> Ooh. Wicked game, wicked room. But Lizzo does. She makes good music, man. I mean, I've heard a couple of her songs. I like that one where she uh, throws the Vikings in one of those songs. Dope song, man. Yeah, no cap. <laughs> I don't think everyone making those comments are Lizzo haters. I think it's majority probably Lizzo haters, definitely. But I think it's a good amount who rock with her as well. But it's just certain things they don't agree with. And we know how people go about something they don't agree with on social media, right? <laughs> they just let loose behind their phone or their computer, right? Try to bring someone down because they may be feeling down. They're not happy, right? Or they're just a wicked individual. But yeah, man, be confident, push confidence, self-esteem, high self-esteem, believe in yourself. Never do not do that. Never stop believing in yourself. Always be confident in yourself. Daily battle, right? It's my opinion on it, though. Oh, me. Oh, me. I ain't got no picture, hit me. Warrior. Like that.